Hey there, so what we're going to do today is we are going to edit a photo for laser engraving. So we got to start in Adobe uh, Photoshop and then you have to open up your image. So file open and then wherever you saved it to. Um, I downloaded it to the uh, downloads which unfortunately is not easy to find on here. So I'll show you how to get to an easier way. If you download it and you go here, <clears throat> you can go to your downloads folder drag it to your desktop there's also this preview plane here if you turn that on you can check and make sure it's the right image now I had a student in the past that you could drag it and just drop it on top of the Photoshop um, window and it would open that might work I don't know this is just how I do it never skinned a cat before but I heard there's more than one way to do it alright so there's a picture so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to edit out what I don't want to laser engrave so one thing you may want to do is you may want to use the crop tool crop tool over here allows you to remove sections of the image that you don't want to use so you just drag a box over what you don't want you can drag your picture around inside this window you can even set this crop um, <clears throat> crop window to a different size um, it's around here somewhere you can look for it if you really need to if you want to set it to a certain size but um, I think that's cropped pretty good for me so I'm just gonna hit the enter key and boom now that's cropped all right now what we want to do is we want to remove this background the best way to do that is if you come over here and you use the magnetic lasso tool. You're going to kind of want to zoom in on this so if you hold alt and the mouse wheel what you'll do is just click over here on the picture and you just drag this along the outline of what it is that you want to crop out and Photoshop detects the difference in colors and allows you then to automatically generate a line now try your best not to like as you move your mouse as you run out of room to move your mouse and you pick it up try not to accidentally put it into the wrong spot because if I swung my cursor way out to the left I might accidentally um, whoops just <laughs> see that <laughs> whoopsies all right, um, so, ah, shoot, I just hit escape. Don't do that. All right, here, we'll try it again. Because what I'm going to need to do is pan this image. I don't know if I can do that while I'm using this magnetic lasso tool. Yeah, I can't zoom out. I just tried to zoom out. So I don't think, oh, it'll let me pan. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so just hold space bar. And then I'll let you pan. So you hold spacebar, left mouse click. So I don't want it to cut off my ear there, but you see how it's not snapping to the right spot? You can click to place it in the right spot if it's trying to cut off part of the image that shouldn't be cropped out. Whoa. Or if you see it go out to the side real far there, like that, you can click to place the dots manually is what I'll probably have to do here because there's not enough of a contrast difference between my ear and the background there. There with my dark hair there that really does have a lot of contrast so that's easy to do. I gotta pan it some more so I'm holding shift and just dragging this around my hair. So I got some stray hairs there so I'm just gonna cut those off. Another picture. Yeah, I'm doing a video right now. Just showing uh, everybody how to crop out the background with the magnetic lasso tool. I want to get this awesome hairstyle I had way back in the day here in the picture. Oh yeah, check that out. I should go back to that hairstyle. I was rocking. I 
I don't think I knew it was picture day when we took this picture. I think I forgot. This picture is from my first year teaching, so I was just turned 23. Got some pretty rad hair. Just gonna go around. Oh yeah, there we go. Cut that little piece off. Bring it down over here. So this is a really good way to be able to Photoshop an image. So removing the background will make the subject of your picture pop out better because the background will then just be the plain wood. But if you have a background, it'll print the background. And it'll be kind of hard to differentiate between what is in the background and what isn't in the background. So if you just remove the background, then your subject will pop out. Myself being the subject in this photo, obviously. All right. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to hit the enter key. Whoopsies. That might be a problem. Just connected across here and I didn't want it to do that. Oh shoot. Alright, well, problem solving here. I'm going to have to figure this out. Probably should have clicked up here and brought it all the way around is what I should have done. Is clicked up there and brought it all the way around. So I'll probably have to go back through and, and redo this part. Um, and then I'll jump back in once I fixed it. Okay, so back to this image. You can see what I did here. Um, I went through, got to here. I clicked outside here in the gray space. And then I just dragged my cursor. So click it outside here in the gray space. Placed a point here. And I just dragged my cursor out here. Clicked in the corner up here. Placed another point in the corner. Dragged my cursor up in the gray area. Clicked in this corner. Dragged my cursor out in the gray area here. And then I click down here and a little circle pops up next to the magnetic uh, lasso icon. And I click there then and place the, uh, the closing uh, point on top of my first point. So, um, <clears throat> what I just did was I hit the delete key. And what I'm going to see if I can do is if I can just cut out and delete this background. I think that's how it works, but I'm not sure. I think it should be filling it in with just white now. <laughs> that definitely didn't do what I thought it would. Um, I hit the delete key. Use white there I, I forgot to change contents to use white okay there now now that's what I'm looking for okay so I got that perfect that's what I'm looking for I'm gonna hit the um, enter key now so this is this is my image here all right that magnetic lasso is still there um, you can see there's a little bit of the image here and here uh, we need to get rid of that um, so what I'm gonna do I've clicked off of it and it disappeared so I'm gonna go back to this eraser tool uh, use the white uh, I'm going to change this to just be real big. Eraser tool. It's going to go through and erase everything along these edges here. So it's just white. A little spot hanging over there. Clean that up. Go back down along this edge. Alright. Clean up around my ear here a little bit. I'll zoom in to do this. When I did this the second time, I didn't quite go into the nice detail that I did the first time. I showed you guys I did it pretty quick just to get it done. There we go. I'm going to make this smaller now. Get in here a little bit. There we go. 
me zoom back out. I can clean that up just a little bit more, make this smaller. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Everything else looks fine. I don't think I have to clean anything else up. But all right. So then that's that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, um, I'm just gonna save it at this point in case I mess it up later. So I'm just gonna hit save as, and then uh, just name it as Mr. Good, and just gonna save it to the desktop. I change this to maximum just so I retain the highest image quality I can. Um, the next thing that we got to do is we got to change this curve. So if we change this curve, we can uh, increase and decrease the contrast. And you do want a decent amount of contrast in your image. You want your lights to be light and your darks to be dark. That way you'll be able to see easier uh, the different parts of the, um, the image. So that, that, that's good. So I think that'll be, that'll be all right. So I'm just going to save that again. File, save as Mr. Good. I guess the first time I put a period in there, I didn't save right. So I'll just hit save. Okay. So check my desktop. Oh, it saved as a Photoshop document. You want to save it as a, uh, Let's save it as a JPEG. Save as JPEG. Mr. Good. All right. So it should be here on the desktop now somewhere. Is this it? I don't think so, because I was there before. Hmm. Where did it save? Well, let's try it again. Save as. JPEG, Mr. Good, desktop, save. Okay, here we go. There, now it's there. There it is. So there's the picture. All right, so then uh, after this, all you do is you upload it to the laser engraver. Um, you can change it to the size of whatever piece we're going to be engraving these on. And then uh, you just burn it on there. That's all there is to it. So here's what we're going to do with our picture. We're going to upload it into Adobe Illustrator and put in some guidelines and uh, get the picture put in there. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll go to File, New, get everything set up here, give it a name. Um, you're going to name it Mr. Good or Mr. G uh, Photo Engraving. And then uh, 24 by 18 inches and OK. And just a quick review for you, Control R brings up the rulers. The piece of wood that I'm going to engrave mine on, and, and you guys can probably engrave yours on, you can do a different size if you want to, but ideally we'll just try to fit it onto a 2 inch by 3 inch piece. So I drag down a guide bar from the top, I'll set it at 2 inches. Oops, actually that one should be 3. I suppose it depends if your picture is horizontal or vertical, but if they're all portraits then they should be vertical. This next guideline I'm going to set at uh, 2. So there's that. Now I'm going to place the picture. So I've got to go to File and Place. And that'll place it in there. Now this picture is going to come in huge. So we're going to have to scale it down. Zoom out. When you scale it down, make sure you hold Shift and then drag it down. And then you can place it closer. And then you can zoom it back in. Alright, so I'm going to place the upper left hand corner of my photo in the upper left hand corner of the workspace, or the artboard. Hold shift. I'm just going to drag that in until it's inside the boundaries of that 2x3 box. So there's that. So there. So that's how you get your picture in place. Um, I guess ideally I would have liked to have Photoshop that a little bit better, but. Um, does seem to be a few spots here and there, but it'll be all right. It'll it'll all burn. So I'm just going to go at this point then to uh, file and print. Printer, epilog, laser engraver, setup, preferences, autofocus, 
Um, this, this is a raster, so we'll just turn it on raster. Horizontal is 24, vertical is 18. We're going to do bottom up, and then the settings for this. We're going to look at our sheet here. So photo engraving, 50 watt, so 50 speed, and 100 power is what it says. All right, and so those are the settings. Print, print, make sure this says zero, zero here. And then uh, I'm gonna go turn on the uh, engraver and, and get that printing. So over here I put painter's tape on the uh, piece of wood. Now you gotta remember that you wanna adjust the depth of the bed so that it doesn't collide with the probe. So here you just push down the bed level button. Smoke, smoke turns on, drop down the bed and make sure that you got plenty of space there then. Once it's in there, you can hit the return button. It goes back to its place. And then you're ready to print. So looking at that, um, probably wasn't a great idea to have that painter's tape on there because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that off. And then all the really light features aren't going to get printed on there because they burned on the tape. Um, so I'm going to flip it over and try it again without the tape on. I think that's just how we're going to have to go with it. So this attempt turned out way better than with the, uh, the painter's tape on it. Uh, here's the side with the painter's tape on it. That side didn't turn out so well. Um, scratch that off a little bit. It's, it's, yeah, it didn't turn out so good. This side here, that looks a lot better. Put some color in my face. All right, that's it.